What's going on guys? Honky Kong here. Welcome back. Do a quick review slash install guide to the uh, Turtle Beach X04 Xbox One gaming headphones, okay? There's not a lot of headphones out there for the Xbox One. Uh, the ones that came with it were giving me all types of problems. I was getting muted, people yelling at me at parties to mute my mic. They said it sounded like I was standing in the middle of a sandstorm, okay? Whatever that sounds like, apparently that's the sound um, mine was generating. Not gonna do an unboxing, so obviously I've already ripped these open, used them probably about three or four hours. This is the box, very good looking packaging, good looking presentation. You know, I'm not gonna, not gonna do the fake pseudo unboxing where I put everything back in and pull it out, all right? Just gonna go with that, but it's good looking box and very nice packaging. Okay, once you get everything out, you get the headphones. Okay, you get your headphones, it comes with the cord. This shit's all tangled up. Give me one second here, just jacked up. Of course, you know, if two cords get together, they're gonna tangle, and that's literally what's here is two cords. All right, so you got your headphones. Okay, quick look at them. Then you have your boom mic, which comes with it, your Xbox One controller adapter and your little USB cable to install the update to um, to use these, okay? So first thing you're gonna do, we're gonna go do a, the quick install guide, okay? You're gonna plug your boom mic into the little uh, jack right here, and it just pops right in, okay? It pops in one way, clicks in, boom, it's in there. At this point, you can adjust your uh, mic however you want it, okay? You can leave it straight, whatever you wanna do with it, that's on you, all right? Next step, you're gonna take your controller adapter, your Xbox One adapter, plug it into the back of your Xbox One controller. Now this one doesn't seem to want to go in as nice as the other one, but it, there it popped in for me that time first, you know, no problem. So I'm glad it cooperated. But yeah, just make sure that's seated in there, really good. Now obviously it, when you're installing this, you're gonna have your Xbox One already on, sitting there ready to go. You take the um, the jack from the headphones, plug it right into the back of your controller adapter, just like that. Make sure that's seated in there. Now at this point, it's where I ran into a little bit of difficulty in the install process. Okay. The instructions tell me to remove the batteries before I did this, okay? When I remove the batteries, I cannot get my install to work. The, the prompt would not appear on my screen, okay, after I do the next step, which I'll get to in one second. I Once I left my batteries in and my controller on, it worked like a charm, okay? I don't know if I did something wrong, but I do know for a fact that when I did my install successfully, my uh, batteries are in the controllers on, okay? So take it for what it's worth, maybe it'll work for you guys, I don't know. I do know the headphone, the, um, the controller does power the headphones. All right. Now you take your little uh, USB cable that comes supplied with it, plug this in, you can plug this into the port on the left side of your Xbox, you don't gotta dig in the back. All right, if you're facing the Xbox, right on the left side, there's a little USB port, plug that in. And the last step, you're gonna plug this right into the front of your controller. Just like that. Now at this point, the prompt should appear on your screen and it could take, you know, it takes just a couple minutes. You, you, you know, you click okay a couple times, it goes through the install process and um, you know, installs the update on your controller and you're all, you're registered and you're all good to go at that point, okay? My overall impressions of the headphones for a hundred bucks, I, I, I really, I think it's a really good deal. I think, I think it's a, it's a good bargain as long as they last. Okay. Um, I like the way they look. I think they're, I think it's a very good looking set of headphones. It's versatile. You can use this on your, you know, for mobile gaming, your tablets, your, your, you know, your, your cell phones, whatever you want. You can use them as standalone headphones. And if you, you got them around your neck, you can go like that, put them around the shoulders if you're not using them, pop them back together. The sound quality, which is obviously what's most important to me, it, it, it's very good, okay? It's, I mean, it's not gonna blow your mind and you're not gonna think you're wearing a $500 set of headphones. You, I mean, these are $100 headphones, but I feel for what you paid, they, they, they sound really, really good, okay? I, I have no issues with the sound on them whatsoever. Um, In-game, they sound great. One thing I really like, you can quickly adjust your in-game, um, your in-game volume, your chat volume. Okay, all you gotta do if you if you want to hear your uh, your partners better, you, you click that. It'll turn up your volume to the to the, uh, the guys in your party or whoever's in your party. Or or if you want to hear your game a little better, you just just click that. And then it's got your standard mute and your volume up and down. So I I, I thought that was kind of corny at first, but then you know just using it a little bit here and there, playing with it, it's it's really a neat feature. Um, as far as comfort goes, look, anything you wear in your head for hours at a time it is gonna get you know uncomfortable, okay? And these are no exception. But as I said, I, I feel for what for what you pay for these 100 bucks, as long as they last, I think it'll be a really good bargain. These are comfortable enough, okay? It's not memory foam, but it's, it's, it's pretty comfortable, all right? Um, one thing, one minor little thing that I don't like when I was using them, like my cell phone, listening to music, uh, if you have any type of case where the jack is recessed like it is on this one, because this is angled, you can only plug it in one of two ways, all right? Like that, it's not gonna move. You can't spin it around, which could you know, become a problem if you put too much pressure on it, it would pop it out or whatever. That's pretty much um, the only thing I don't like. I would prefer this to been 
to bend a straight uh, a straight jack as opposed to angle. So you know, overall, as long as these things last, I feel like a hundred bucks is, is a um, a pretty reasonable price to pay for them. For what you get with with the um, you know your performance and your volume, they they sound really good in game and uh, the ability. You know, like I said, it's first style. You can use it for your standalone headphones if you want. I don't intend to do that at all. I would probably rip these off my head and tear them up in a second. I only use cheap earbuds because I'm always getting them ripped out or, or break them. Okay, I'm very hard on headphones, especially I'm cruising around at work listening to music. So I'm only going to use these for gaming, but um. You can use them for, for all those other purposes, okay? So that's all I got. Hope this helped you guys. If you guys, um, when you did your install, if, you, if it differed any, please leave in the comments below. I'd love to know how yours went. That's all I got. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.